Hi, it's Jo here again. I just thought I'd give you a little bit more information about what I do. So often people are very concerned about acupuncture needles and they're really fine. Um, they're nothing like you, you would think if you haven't seen one. So sometimes people think they're great big things like hypodermic syringes or they've seen videos or, or films on television where people have got really big needles sticking out of them. And that's just for camera because it's very difficult to show them because they're so tiny. So all the acupuncture needles come in sealed packets. This is one that I've just opened. This is a little acupuncture needle packet. And they come in guide tubes. The guide tube is just a little plastic tube which helps with the insertion of the needle. So I'm just going to hold it against something so you can, you might be able to see a bit more clearly how big or small they are. So I'm going to take the needle out of the guide tube and here it is, just shown against that background. It's very, very tiny, very, very fine. It's like a hair and um, if I just flick it, I don't know if you can see it moving on the film. So it's very, very fine and when we use them, they're not inserted all the way. The length in the acupuncture needle is to make it easy to handle rather than that you know that it needs to go deeply into this into the body so what happens if we are looking for an acupuncture point we would find a point on the body um, place the guide tube on the skin and then just give the needle a little tap as it goes in which is difficult to do with one hand um, and then either the needle is turned and removed straight away or it might be left to hang in an early treatment but the needles um, are only inserted shallowly normally about less than a millimetre, uh, sometimes slightly deeper depending on the place in the body and I don't know if you can see that, that's just hanging from my skin. And generally the, the acupuncture points um, aren't painful, people don't feel the treatment's uncomfortable at all. Sometimes the points on the wrist can be a little bit itchy um, and occasionally a point will, you know, might just be a bit uncomfortable for 30 seconds. Um, and that's usually if the point's really badly blocked, so it just shows that you really needed the treatment. So acupuncture points are a bit like um, a bit like tuning knobs on a on an old-fashioned television. So they're a great way of tuning the body up for optimal health. So some people come for treatment because they have something wrong with them um, that they want to get help with and some people come just so that they feel better in themselves because it's a, a great tool for wellness um, and to help people you know, maintain that and to move towards it. Uh, some people are really worried about needles as well so um, I don't always use needles. I also have this wonderful little tool which is um, a, a, what we call a non-insertion needle so it's, um, it's a gold rod and it can get used in exactly the same way as a needle, but obviously it doesn't pierce the skin. Um, so that can be used for the vast majority of treatments. There are a few treatments where it's not possible to do it with this, that I do need to use needles, um, but I can often talk to you about that if you're concerned at all. Uh, most people find their treatments really relaxing. I have lots of people that fall asleep on the couch, which is lovely. <laughs> Um, and most people are really surprised by that, you know, they think that coming for acupuncture will, will be really stressful. But it gives you such a wonderful sense of well-being, um, it's well worth plucking up the courage to come. Anyway, I hope to see some of you soon and uh, very much look forward to working in the clinic. Bye for now.